Hello everybody! Welcome to a new video. I had to take a break and I was really upset about it because I wasn't planning to take a break from videos. I had promised you guys I'd have every second day uploads, but then I got my booster and my period on the same day. And let's just say mama went down. Mama was down, but she's back. Thank God. <laughs> I hate not filming. So anyway, and any anyway, this is my build crest file. Uh, I've spoken about this in my last few videos, but basically every lot is a different build challenge. Now I did post the connect the dots challenge, but it was an absolute fail. Basically all the comments are like, you did it wrong. So I want to do it again. <laughs> but I think today we're going to try the build between the lines G challenge. The G is a typo. I actually have to do an app class. Your girl's getting swole again. So I've got to go to that in 40 minutes. So this is going to be also a 40 minute build between the lines challenge. Okay. So first up, I just want to see which direction this lot actually faces on the gallery. Okay. So it actually faces this way. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so happy to be back in The Sims 4. I have missed you guys. So basically this challenge, you have to build only in between the lines. So for example, I can build in these spots if I want to, or like this spot. And you know what? I may as well use this because I just think it'll look kind of cool. I mean, look, you could totally uh, kind of cheat the build or let this shape completely lead you. I mean, it's not cheating if it's in the game, right? But you could totally just kind of go like this, or you don't have to copy the shape. You could just build within it. Um, but I thought this was kind of sneaky because you have to leave this out. Uh, so we're also going to delete the ceiling on that. And maybe that can be like a cool plant room. I'm thinking we go ultra modern with this. That's the plan. <laughs> That's the plan, Jan. Basically created the challenge and have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just like you guys doing this challenge. If I was smart, I would have created this challenge with a plan. <sighs> but I just didn't quite get there. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of inspo from, I don't know if you guys remember, but in The Sims 3, there was a donut shaped house, which I think I may have at some point tried to rebuild in The Sims 4. I can't quite remember if I did or didn't, but it, it was a pretty weird shaped donut house, but it was probably my favorite house in The Sims 3 other than the fountain house, um, which is going to inspire the fountain build. But I'm pretty sure they had a lot of these kinds of roofs. We just can kind of keep extending. We could even, do we want to push that over here and just have like a indoor garden? We're well, technically we're not allowed to build on that. So I don't think we can do that even if we wanted to. Holy moly, you guys, this is going to be such a funny roofing job. I have no idea if this is going to work or look any good. I have to delete this one, pull this one across, so at least... Oh, hold on, that kind of works. It's not the most beautiful thing you'll see in Architectural Digest, but it's not the worst. Pull that across, suck that in a little bit. Okay, okay. You know, I think we're doing some good work here. I'm actually loving this, believe it or not. I am obsessed with this house. I've gone from, oh my God, I have no idea what we're doing to, oh my gosh, I'm a genius. Okay, so next up, we gotta figure out how to actually do the floor plan of this place. I do like the single story look. Like, sometimes you feel you have to do two story, you know what I mean? Like, you feel like, you know what? Am I being lazy if this house is only single story? But I truly believe that there is a place for single story builds in challenges as well that is not lazy. Yes, I might be restricted with time today, but could I do a, a two-story building? Okay, who are you kidding? I definitely could do a two-story build today. I've also sensed this is kind of like a Pixar home, you know, like the kind of style of home you would see maybe in The Incredibles or something like that. 
um, which I love those kinds of homes. It's so very modern and clean. But I, ha I know every build challenge we do, I'm like, we're not gonna do a modern build challenge. Every challenge. I promise you guys, we're gonna do something traditional in one of these build challenges. But today is not the day. Today is the day for my modern aesthetic to shine yet again. But I will try and do something a little bit different. Could we do a red wall here? Or we could do, nah, I feel like we've done, done too many red bricks recently. I mean, this is, this kind of looks cool. It's got like a double, double line type of deal. Do you want to go like full blown cartoony roofing as well? I think we'll go halfway there. I don't feel like super cartoony today. See, usually I like everything to be really light and bright. So it's kind of hard for me to make everything dark and me not be like, oh. But I want to I wanna cater to some of your other tastes for those of you guys who love this style of home. Ooh, I kind of love these. We could do some wacky windows at the front. Ooh, or triangular windows at the front that like jut out like this that makes the build that is a little bit boxy look a little bit more dynamic. A little funky window on the corner maybe. It's a bit of fun. Mm -hmm. I have no idea if this is gonna actually fit into our floor plan. Okay, now this is going to be where our cool like courtyard section is going to be. Realistically, you would need a door to get into one side of this. I do feel like we should be a little bit realistic. Here we go, we can put some greenery in here. This feels very like Incredibles to me. This is the type of thing that would be at Edna Mode's house. Also, I've been seeing some of your builds from Buildcrest and they are so good. Like, I'm so impressed at your creativity, so keep them coming. Keep um, tagging me. I saw some really good ones on Twitter this morning. They're dang impressive. I'm just holding Alt as well to kind of hold these in positions off of the grid. And I also have the Move Objects On sheet, which helps with placing and landscaping because you can intersect the objects. Which I know you Sims pros know how to do this but there's always new players coming to the game some rocks in there that's beautiful could have also done a bit of a sandy garden in there as well like a zen garden put some lights in too so when it's night time that's gonna glow and look gorgeous okay in terms of the rest of the flooring we could do like a tile uh is that 70s though i mean that's more spanish i actually think there were a lot of tiles used in 70s homes like this tile's pretty 70s looking i wish it came in more colorways but i think more of you guys who download this house would probably like some dark floorboards we might just go that do yellow wool or do these sandy sandy colored walls okay so i think over here this is where we should have our lounge room we could even remove a window and do like a fireplace moment here. And I currently don't have any custom content in the game. So everything's all Maxis. I know some of you guys are living for. All you want is the Maxis builds. You can't get enough of the Maxis. And what should this feature wall be? I mean, we could do a stone wall on this side and have the greenery on the other side. Some mid-century moments around like this. I actually think I prefer the snowy escape fireplace. But is a TV above it still gonna work? I don't know, it seems kind of weird to me to have the TV like above that fireplace. I don't know, like for some reason it just seems weird. Like I feel like it has to be on the other side, which we wouldn't usually do. So I wonder if we need to make like a little situation here for the TV. Oh, oh, I know what we need. City living slate tiles that aren't tiles. I still don't understand why they called it that. I don't know, you guys. I feel like this really isn't working. Like I really want it to work, but it's just not. I mean, maybe we just keep it simple and we just have a TV here and that's it. Have some nice green couches. Or yellow, we could definitely do the yellow. The yellow is cool, but I feel like if we do the yellow, then we'll have to do a fusion of light and dark woods, which could still work. But green's just classic, you know? You can't go wrong with a green mid-century couch. It is actually classic. Like, I think at this point, because there's been enough time since the 70s, it's actually cool. 
to have a green couch. Whereas I feel like for the first 10, 20 years, it went out of style. It's kind of like musicians can be really disliked while they're alive. And then when they pass away, people are like, ah, oh, they're such a legend. And then everyone likes them again. It's a pretty interesting phenomena. Phenom phenomenon. No, 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 me. <laughs> okay, in 10 minutes, it's already my uh, ab class. I've only been filming 35 minutes, so we're really this far. So I'm definitely gonna have to go do my class and then come back again and finish, which is actually kind of good because it does mean it's not rushed. Why do I feel like none of these square tables are working for me? Oh, here we go. So these lights are not centered. I wish there was a button to have like auto down lights enabled. Mid-century light. I wonder if we'll ever get ceiling paint. Maybe one day. Actually, I think a big ass plant would look really good here. A bit of red in the leaves. Also just want to see if there's any other, whoa, any other rugs that might work here. I do really like that rug. I mean, this is the kind of rug you could pair just crazy couches with. I mean, I do kind of love it, not gonna lie. We should just go crazy. Okay, this is pretty awesome. I'm sorry, but like, I think we gotta do this. How cool is that? I mean, it's more of a wild look. It's definitely eccentric, but in the, in the best way possible. Cause we gotta have fun, you know, you guys, we gotta do, we gotta do different kinds of builds. I say we go the eccentric route. Oh, do you reckon? Oh, this totally works with this. If not the teal, we can find some other bluey color to tie in with the floor and the rug. Or we could just do brown. Classic, very classy. But this is fun. All right, you guys, well, I'm gonna go do my app class. We'll come back to this afterwards and I'm probably gonna be very sweaty. Hi guys, I'm back and I'm in my PJ shirt. Shout out to my fellow Care Bear fans and I've got a hot chalky, so a hot white chalky actually. I quite like this kind of aqua looking teal wall. However, I think what could also look good now I'm coming back to it fresh is either just brown if you want that really classy look, or we could do something that's a little bit weird, but kind of cool as well as just having like the yellow strip down the wall to frame the TV a bit, or even the blue strip. I'm kind of into that just because it's a little different. I know some of you guys will be like, what is that deli? But I like it. I think it works. Also, I think we should get a matching light under here to match the sconces because that creates unity our favorite word on this channel in 2022 oh the gold is looking pretty nice oh, we should just go to gold then okay that looks good that looks really really good so currently in australia where i am it's really really hot because it's summer and this week has been quite warm in melbourne and i'm filming at night time and it's been a really hot day all day so now the office under the lights is really really warm I don't know what it is, but our aircon just doesn't really want to work in this room. So lucky me. All right, I'm still not really sure what we're doing with the floor plan here. I'm just kind of furnishing where I think it looks good and just honestly hoping for the best that it just works out for us. Ooh, we could have a little bit of fun with one of these. Nah, actually I don't want to do that. Let me just do like a funky glass table. This actually might just fit behind the couch beautifully. Oh, and I sometimes forget, you can totally just go to mid-century in styles. It's really, really handy. Now, what color is gonna tie in well with all of this? Honestly, we could go all out with color and like go orange chairs and make it really crazy. Or we can really try and do colorful, but keep it a little bit within the color scheme. <laughs> Whoa, okay, that's pretty fun. Maybe if we did this, we just go with brown chairs. So loud rugs, loud rugs, chill furniture. Uh, I like the blue chairs more though. They just make me sad if we don't have the blue chairs. Potentially double up this rug like that. And maybe in here can be in the uh, can be the kitchen. Ooh, I am tempted to do like full on yellow kitchen. It's gonna match the floor tiles beautifully. That's a lot of fun. And we can put these, oh, pardon me, put these here. Actually, what's the difference? Oh, okay, these are a bit thinner with a different texture. 
I mean, I'm just thinking again, we could even like put these all the way across behind the TV and then incorporate color that way. Ah! <laughs> Maybe not even have these. Okay, that looks pretty sick. Loving it. Let me get rid of that. Mm -hmm. Man, I love The Sims so much. Guys, I really missed filming. You guys, like, oh man. I needed a holiday. Like, I know I was getting a bit boring and low energy, so I know I needed a break. But I did not want to have a break this long. Okay, I'm being a little bit dramatic. It was only a couple of weeks. It was like a two week break and then a couple of videos and another break. Ooh, let's see what wallpaper is it. A mid-century. Ooh, fun. That is pretty mid-century. Oh gosh, maybe we should be using that instead of this like island brick on the exterior of the house. Girl, why didn't you use this? This is way better. See, this is another thing. Stopping halfway through a build and then coming back is a great idea if you're ever feeling a bit lost. Like, how good does this look? In fact, I'm gonna even do this all the way across the facade. The facade. Also, why is this? Why did you do black roof trim here? Wait, what? I'm so confused. What is this trim? Is that, oh, that's roof trim. That's why I did that. Let's just put a ceiling across there so it doesn't look really bad. That looks so much better, you guys. I do not know what I was even thinking earlier on. I'm embarrassed for my heinous decisions. And this is why, friends, we use the creator styled. Wait, what am I talking about? We're not in The Sims 3. This is why, friends, we use the style tool, the filter styles. I wish we had creator style. Okay, we don't have a fridge. We don't have a fridge, we don't have a bin. We don't have a sink either. I feel like it's the kitchen where often I forget stuff and where I can go wrong. But not today, folks, not today. Classic base game light, can't go wrong. Safety first, people. We'll get a smoke detector. Yeah, this thing might put that outside. I don't even know if that's meant to go inside or outside, that smoke or fire protector panel. And I'll just put it there. Uh, bin can just sit behind here, a little sneaky one. Make this blue to kind of tie that in. Uh, do we need anything else? I feel like a, a bit of a retro looking coffee maker. I wish we could have a retro blender. I feel that would look pretty cool. And I guess a dishwasher. We could even go blue dishwasher, whoa. Okay, maybe even for this house, that's a, a little much. We'll just tuck it over there. Gorgeous kitchen. And yeah, I reckon we can fit a window in. Pop a window there, beautiful. And you know what, the more I look at it, the more I think this wall should just be extended across here. All right, now question is, where's the bathroom gonna go? Where's the bedroom gonna go? Is it just one bedroom? One bedroom seems a little lame. Like we could fit a bedroom here. I mean, there's also potential for a bedroom over on this side too. I don't want to ruin our beautiful one story house. See, it would be so easy to just kind of build off or build this way, but that's the challenge, you guys. We have to stay within the lines. All right, I'm thinking, Chimkin, that we put a bedroom here. Kind of seems like a small bedroom. I mean, we. If we bring it in like this, is that just gonna look odd? I mean, it's not as beautiful as it once was, I feel. We could go like this, put some triplets in there, like the windows. I mean, you could put a triplet of babies in there as well if you really want. Make that turquoise wall, cause fun. Okay, so that could be like a second bedroom. I'm wondering if we push, push this out, this could be our master bedroom area. And that's still within the lines. And we might even be able to get a little ensuite as well in here. I reckon we can do it. So that would be big bed there. Oh gosh, actually we might be pushing for this ensuite. Look, it's not ideal. Now I, I can't actually remember if we filled this in a little bit or if that's all the room we have. Oh my God, it's just a little bit too small. We also have this room we can bump out into. I don't think that's enough for an ensuite either. Actually, you know what? I think it could. I think we can have a wardrobe here, toilet on this lengthy bit, shower, basin. That's gonna work. So this is actually gonna be a master. It's gonna be another bedroom. So the bed will have to kind of sit in the corner, I think. And then over here, I mean, this could be 
like a why would you have why would we need another entrance here we probably wouldn't so this could be an office or a studio that you can also access from the side this is really hard you guys <laughs> oh this has been tough oh god and now i have to figure out the roofing we did such a good job on the roofing before we extended everything okay let's hope it's an easy fix so easy enough to pull this across this it's a little strange i think we can work with it though i think all it needs is a little siddle a siddle a little siddle a little city living love maybe um to kind of tie it in with the the front door actually this could be a cute little hidey hole for the bin like that's actually quite a nice idea and then this can become an ongoing theme the vertical black slats i've got a little bit a little bit excited with that one maybe we can just inset these like this create a little side hedge look and feel that's beautiful i'll put one of these in here as well oh yeah okay i think we've sorted this funny little bit out kind of looks like it's meant to be there now and then this oh. hey do we even need this roof anymore oh yeah oh yeah we do it doesn't have to be that big this actually looks so nice from the side that's that's beautiful surprisingly i'm really really liking this house like i just love it when you like your own work hey okay. is that up myself no i feel like you know, we're kind of made to think that if we compliment ourselves, we're being up ourselves, but really that's not true at all. We should compliment ourselves. as the lamest thing ever that we feel like we're not meant to compliment ourselves. Go me, you did a beautiful job on the profile of this house, girl. Yes, sunny. Why is this so white? Yes, sunny. Nice, nice, nice. I feel like we need some pot plants at the front of this, you know, like a couple on either side of the door, and then we'll add a mailbox. We got any mid-century plants? Oh, I love these. It's like orange plants. It's so cool. A little bit of color in our life. Also, it is very easy to forget about outdoor lighting. So just a friendly reminder. Don't forget. See, now that looks good. You know, part of using this mid-century filter is kind of fun because I'm always curious to see what they say is mid-century and if it is what I think it is. Um, I don't really like any of these fences though. So we might have to do like a, a hedge moment. Bit of a hedge fund to build. Wait, no, I want to make a joke about hedge funds, like a, a pun. We need a hedge fund for our hedge. <laughs> I wish I never made that joke. So let's a box here. It is kind of unusual how wide this this thing is. That kind of works, I think, because the house is so wide, like a wide set. You know the main girl's quote. In this section, I'm going to place this hedge because that'll fit perfectly there. Okay, back to interior. We got a little sidetracked with landscaping. I feel like my head is too big. Let me make that smaller. So I was thinking if this is a studio space, we could have glass doors going into the studio. Although if you had people coming to the side of your house to buy stuff, I feel like you don't want them looking into your living room. So maybe we won't do that. But I think it was a cute concept. I love these paintings. But we don't have two of these with a matching frame, I don't think, unless we do the black frames. Oh my god, this is going to look so good on one of these turquoise walls. We have to make this wall turquoise just to make the most of that painting pop right here. That looks so good. Who said I never use color in my builds? Come on. Like we need something long along here like a big console table. I mean, we could even repeat the same console table as the lounge room. I don't think there's anything wrong with repeating them. We could just do one and have chairs on either side. I would love to have some orange in this house. Orange is just quintessential, mid-century vibe. Also, it ties into this painting over here, like these colors do. Ooh, that's actually kind of making me sick though. It would be the worst having a beige rug at your front door. That's so dirty. The round's kind of cool. Well, it feels a little big. Let's just use a bracket key and size it down. So if it's like this, I haven't seen these shakers before. Oh, actually, I think they're in the Christmas update. Oh, I know there's been some updates recently, but honestly, I'm so out of the loop. 
This bowl looks like it should be in the middle. Beautiful. This random item in the corner that I don't know. I don't think I've ever used this in my life. Okay, that's a little, a little much. Bowling cabinet, anyone? Random corner of stuff. I don't know why, but I just feel like a coconut chair should just sit here. Like it just feels like where it's meant to be in its life. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but it's just a feeling that I have. Bit of sneaky bar over here, love. I definitely think this is a great spot for a barbecue. Like just off the kitchen, it's undercover. It's actually perfect. Now I think we can just open this up a little bit more. I'll allow it so we can turn this into a bigger outdoor space. Oh, actually, if let's say I'm not allowed to do that, I have another idea. I can use this little table. Mm-hmm. Have a little outdoor space. Okay, well, we've almost got a full challenge completed, you guys. The so bedrooms, I think we should go carpet. Go like green carpet. Yes. Or brown. Brown's quite, quite cute. Then this, oh no, we don't have a main bathroom. I totally forgot the main bathroom was going to come from here, not from the bedroom. Eek. So, oh, I really like this painting. We might have to just size it down. Okay, for the bathrooms, I think we should do like a teal tile with brown walls just because that's something that I would never really choose. But I think it'll it'll kind of work in here because we can get like a similar glass color for the shower. I guess just like a regular toilet. Bit of a fun basin. Uh, actually, that ties in perfectly, the color. Nice mirror. Also, something weird that I've been noticing is that not all of my commands have been working on my type pad. Like sometimes I have to do things manually at the moment. Has anyone else noticed that in their games or is that just me? I don't know, maybe I'm going cuckoo, but I swear it's a thing. I do tiles along this wall as well. Beautiful. Okay, I like to just copy things across when I'm doing bathrooms, because I like my bathrooms to all match beautifully. So the idea was to put the toilet down here. Maybe we can place this window up high. There we go. A little strange actually having it there, isn't it? <laughs> really not the best spot for it. Like right above the toilet. Actually, you know what? It might be my keyboard, because it's a wireless keyboard. Maybe it's more likely my keyboard is dropping out. Maybe that's what's going on. Okay, that's the master ensuite done. If this wasn't a challenge, I would for sure extend this so the rooms were bigger. Just to make that really, really clear, I would for sure do that. Let's maybe go a blue bedroom. Oh, do we want to do planter side table? Oh, actually, I think I'll switch this it's more fresh. I like this feature wall being repeated in the bedroom. Maybe we can do a yellow. Whoa or an orange. Okay, none of these colors are working for me right now. Oh, the green is fun. I mean, the cushions in this kind of tie into it. So I feel this is a win. Is a whole room green? Whoa, not gonna lie, kind of loving it. I'm so interested and curious to see what you guys say in the comments about this whether you really like it as well, or if you're like, oh, I mean, even these curtains kind of work. I feel like putting together the colors you would never think work together because it's in the bedspread, we're just making it happen. Unfortunately, there's not much else we can fit into here. Or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. Oh, yes. Couldn't have asked for a better picture frame. All right, I think that can be the master bedroom done and dusted. And then this room, we have some fun stripes here from the university park. Could be cool to do a bunk bed in here. Probably my favorite color for bedrooms is like beach pastel blues. Like I just think it's such a calming color. It's just really, really nice. So I might go with that. The brown carpet's a little rough, but I think it works with the house. You know what? I can probably add another bed underneath. <gasps> yes, love lamp. I was gonna ruin our color scheme. It's really ruining our colors. We can never get this to go on the windows. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna lift it up using the nine key and hopefully not tip the mouse. Ah. I know Ravashin has a mod that you can use so it doesn't snap to the grid. I had that not long ago, but then I 
completely wiped my game to start fresh at the start of 2022. So I haven't got around to downloading all of those mods and things again. This is such a sophisticated painting for a kid's bedroom. Like I feel like no kid would actually want that painting on their wall. But these kids, their parents are like, you have to have a good room. Like you, like it's aesthetic. Okay, live with it. Then the kids are like, don't tell me what to do. And then they plaster all of these posters on the walls anyway. And like all around this painting. Actually, instead of a science table, which is pretty epic, I think I'm just going to do a classic toy box. Because you know. You can't go wrong for entertainment, a dinosaur. Is it sad to have Sunny up in the bedroom? I feel like that's just gonna be a negative environment for kids. Okay, now that there's kids living here, I feel like we need more kid-friendly stuff around the place. Like I know we just said the parents are kind of into their aesthetic more than their kids having fun decorating their own bedrooms. <laughs> But maybe just, I don't know, just a couple of things would be good. Like maybe a play tent out the side of the house could be cute. A second toy box that's kind of aesthetic looking can go here. Ooh, let's do some monkey birds. And actually, while we're at it, we do need to do a little bit of terrain painting. Because right now it's looking a little too perfect for my liking. I just go around like underneath the fences, underneath some bushes. You can mark out where you might like to have some trees. And if you're stuck with what trees to use, just look around the neighborhood and copy the trees that are already there. Because they're just going to fit in perfectly to your surroundings if you just keep using those trees. Then I like to use this base game bush here, the low-lying pale yellow flowers. These low-lying yellow pale flowers are honestly my savior. I just kind of spot them around the trees like this. Maybe put a bush here and there. You know, just easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Also love these ferns in base game. I don't know when we got these ferns, but they definitely didn't ship with the game. Like, I swear they were not in the game until maybe a year or two ago. And all of a sudden, your house... All your games just gonna look more lived in and more realistic and just better all around. Oh, and rocks are really good to add as well, like just to the sides of plants and trees and stuff. Oops, wrong. Like the regular rocks, not the decorative rocks. <laughs> Unless you feel like decorating, which is totally fine. I'm gonna make this pathway area look like it's meant to be here by putting some garden boxes in on the side to balance it out a bit. This house would look so good with a pool as well. Put some more planters along here. And there we have it, our finished build between the lines house. I reckon this is really nice. Like I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. Oh wait, no, I forgot the studio. I knew there was something. I'm just gonna make this into a multimedia, just handy dandy studio. Like you could have a Renaissance sim in here learning all of their skills. You have like an eco sim, a musical sim, like whatever you want. This will be a great studio for them. Okay, this can be the multimedia studio in here. Actually, let's lift up that off the front door. Okay, so now we're ready for tour time. Okay, you guys, welcome to our house and welcome to the grand tour. What do you think of this beautiful mid-century inspired home? Let me know in the comments down below. So here's our front door. And as we go in, we are greeted by this internal garden. Well, it's like courtyard, more like it. A very unique floor plan as well. Over the other side of the garden is this gorgeous, vibrant, bright lounge room, which I'm really pleased about because I often get the feedback to use more color. So I feel like we've really gone all out with the color in this build and look, I wouldn't want to live here with all this color. It's not for me, but I reckon some of you guys would like it. And we've got a nice mellow yellow kitchen over here. The dining area is pretty fun. Into this room is the master bedroom. This is hectic color scheme, but it kind of works. Then the L-shaped bathrooms in here just fits in. Also the wardrobe space. There's a barbecue out here, nice seating area. And then in here is the second bedroom, which is the kids' bunk beds. Nice desk area. And then this is the master bathroom down the other end of the house. And at the side entrance of the house is the studio. Could even turn this into a yoga practice at home if you have um, spa day. And so this is just a nice room with clutter and bookshelves. Everything you're 
Renaissance sim would like to do is in this room. Well, some things, almost everything. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this build in the comments down below. What video would you like to see next? And as always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon. Tag tag!